obviously diversity and inclusion is top of mind for every corporate leader. Do you think Bain has done enough to make the firm, your portfolio companies, and the boards of your portfolio companies as diverse and inclusive as possible? I don't think anybody has done enough yet. I think that while we are trying, and while it has been front and center with us for a long time, clearly there is more to be done. Um, and I think that the way we get better at this is thinking about where we recruit, thinking about um, diversity, diversity of thought, diversity of education, diversity of geography, diversity of background. I think that everybody needs to provide this, um, to, to use the same creativity we've used to build our businesses, to make um, interesting investments in apply it inwardly and make sure that we are all um, developing the most diverse, most talented teams that we can come up with that provide opportunity that um, is a place that people want to work at um, from all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of geographies, all sorts of gender identification. And I think that it is something that um, we have made strides on, but nobody has done enough. What do you think is the key internal friction point or points around setting policy on DNI? So I think part of it is, believe it or not, just has been scale of the businesses early on. You know, when I got to the firm, we had something like 14 investment professionals and we were in Boston and, um, you know, it just, we didn't have the, 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 the breadth of ability to look beyond our little enclave in Boston. Um, I think, um, I think, um, secondly, to uh, something we've talked about before, is making sure that people understand the opportunities available in our firms, because it's not just go be a private equity investor. There's all sorts of really, really interesting and important jobs. And making sure that by going out and, and being creative where we're recruiting and how we're recruiting, we're also creating networks that will result in those people bringing their friends in. And in this, you know, you hear so much that there is a war for talent. So there's also a, you know, really, really important thing that, you know, just like in the deal business, you want the funnel to be as wide as it can be. I think one thing that people have had a blind spot for is our recruiting funnels probably weren't as wide as they should be. And I think by putting effort behind it and making it front and center and treating it as a management objective, just like investment performance, I think you're going to see great strides um, in the industry uh, um, in the next several years. Thank you.